amidst all of the media madness and mergers, which media stocks are set to do well and which, well, not so much. For the answers, we now turn to our friend Melissa Armo, the CEO of the Stock Swoosh. Melissa, great to be with you in person again. Uh, given everything that's going on out there, which sort of media stocks uh, have the possibility of doing really well going forward? Well, I love Disney. Disney is strong. Disney's an uptrend. But with Disney buying this huge package of Fox assets and the 21st Century Fox Studios out in California, that is really going to put Disney on the map. I love that stock long term. I love it right now. And I think Disney probably in the in that bucket of stocks, I think, is the best buy. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't wait. I guess it's the best way I'd say it. I wouldn't wait on that one. How about uh, Comcast? Now, you know, Comcast is in the middle of a, this bidding war to try and get part of a sky, the uh, the uh, pay TV, European uh, TV uh, company over there, which could make them more competitive. Do, do you feel like they're also uh, if, if they get the sky deal, are they a good investment or? Should maybe investors look at that now? I think it's a wait and see. I'd wait to see what happens with that one because the stock does not look as good as Disney. And also, they're probably going to fight hard for those assets because they didn't get the Fox assets. So they dropped then. They didn't re-up it then for another bid on Fox after Disney put a second bid in for that. They dropped it and decided to go after Sky. So they're probably going to go hard, push hard for that to go through. And who knows how long that could take. I would wait on that because we don't know if that's going to go through. And that stock does not look as good as Disney. Remember, there's other stocks you can buy that are creating content in this marketplace, which you might not think as content providers or creators like Netflix. One of the reasons Netflix stock looks so great, I mean, that is one of the strongest stocks right now in the market. That's a good buy. You don't think of Netflix the same as Disney, and yet Netflix is doing so well because they're selling subscriptions, but also they're creating shows. If you want to watch ABC show or whatever, you have to actually subscribe to Netflix to see the show. You can't turn in and tune on the dial. And so that is the future. And Apple is starting to create content too. So look to see them in the future as well, even though Apple does many other things. They're going to push themselves out there with content. I'd say the next, you know, five years, Apple's going to look very different as a competitor against the likes of Netflix and even Disney. And that's what's so great about Disney getting that Fox of those studios. Disney's really going to go for it. I think you're going to see a lot from that stock. Yeah, and they're going to turn a lot of the, that content, uh, whether or not it's X-Men or the, anything else that they, they have that Disney gets from Fox That's into right. rides and everything else and uh, more and more merchandise. Let me ask you another question, and this one's about a media company, but it's really not, maybe you can't judge it on media, and that's Amazon. I mean, you know, we think of them as, as the, 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 the store, that you, the worldwide store. We think of them as uh, now food delivery and Whole Foods, uh, but they do have an important media component, but can you really separate that out and uh, base any media uh, determinations on their stock or not. Amazon is just a behemoth. I think anything that Amazon wants to do, it will do, and it will uh, make an attempt, not necessarily to do it better than anyone else, which is which is problematic for consumers, but they will attempt to do it cheaper. And so that's 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 the problem. Personally, I like quality when I'm going to watch a show or when I'm going to buy a product, and Amazon is all about price. Like, for example, when they decided to buy Whole Foods, and I think we've talked about this before, going Going shopping in the store is not the same experience. You do not get the same customer experience. So if they decide to embark on this new thing to go up against the likes of Netflix, Disney, don't necessarily look for the best experience. They're out there because they have so much, so much, uh, everyone's attention. It's just that if you say Amazon, there's no one that doesn't know Amazon. So when you're going out and you want to tune around and you want to buy something or you want to get somebody to do something, you just think automatically Amazon, Amazon. So it's really hard to compete with them. But I think the nice thing about the Disney's and Netflix's of the world, and even Apple that's starting to get into this too with the content, is they're starting to do it before Amazon. So it's not that they won't look into it, but they're starting to do it beforehand. But I don't, I don't have necessarily a lot of conviction that Amazon would be some place that I'd want to go and buy a subscription to watch a show or think that they would produce some great shows. Because everything they've touched has not been the type of quality that you've seen from people who really focus on that thing, whatever those are doing, whether it's food shopping, whether it's TV, whether it's production content, whatever it happens, retail, clothing, whatever it happens to be. Uh, super interesting and insightful and intelligent as always. Melissa Armo, the CEO of the Stock Switch. Thanks, Melissa. Thank you.